Hey everyone, um, welcome and uh, thanks so much for joining Mina's Community Spotlight Town Hall event. Um, we hope you've been finding all of the sessions before this interesting and um, you know learning about what Mina's ecosystem has been up to and where we're headed. Uh, so like Sindri mentioned, my name is Sherry and I'm actually the interim head of marketing and community here at O1 Labs. Um, and I'm excited to present this quarter's core value champions who have demonstrated Mina's core values in the community. So let's get started. Um, okay, so first, um, as a reminder, core stands for curiosity, openness, respect, and excellence. And uh, these are Mina Protocol's values. So the value of curiosity is really what connects us all. Um, it refers to our attraction to big questions and solving impossible problems, such as the one that Mina is tackling. And of course, creating technology that serves everyone. With regards to openness, um, in my mind, openness is integral to how we communicate. We always try to share the information people need to participate. Um, being responsive and accountable, uh, communicating and collaborating proactively um, to serve Mina's vision with humility. Um, the next value is respect. And it's really a grounding principle for uh, Mina and its community. We always treat each other with respect um, and we res respect people's ideas, their contributions, their time, and of course, their abilities. And as a part of it, it helps us work hard to make things that we're building inclusive and accessible. And lastly, um, excellence means that although we don't expect perfection, it's impossible, we, we really demand the best of ourselves um, and we strive to create you know, elegant solutions and del deliver key results. So, um, with that being said, you know, in my mind, Mina's core values have truly shaped our community and the ecosystem that we're growing together. Um, it has guided our members on how to act, how to treat each other, and makes our community a very positive place. And um, I want to call out that it's something that really sets Mina apart um, from other projects um, and in general and it's an important foundation of a strong open source community that we're trying to build. And so um, I saw this <laughs> quote the other day and it actually really struck a chord with me, right? Um, good values are like a magnet, they attract good people. Now I don't really follow sports, so I wasn't aware of who uh, John Wooden is. Apparently he's a very, very successful American basketball coach, but um, regardless of who he was, I think he had um, these are wise words, right? I think what he said about good values attracting good people is certainly the case um, with Mina, and I'm super proud to be a part of this community with all of you. So um, today we're recognizing some core value champions. Um, these are people who have been standout contributors in the community. Um, they're living the values every day. They're serving as backbones of the community and um, they're leaders who inspire others to follow in their example, right? So um, they are a great example of what makes Mina's community so special. And I'm excited to get into it. So let's see, okay, the first value is curiosity. So these two members have demonstrated the core value of curiosity. Um, oh boy, I'm gonna to try to pronounce this. Anthropocosmist <laughs> has been an active voice in the community. Um, they've created the step-by-step -step guide on how to delegate and stake Mina, which I'm sure many of you are aware of and have been using. Um, Christine also talked about this a little bit more um, during her presentation. Um, Olten, on the other hand, has built a monitoring dashboard for node operators. And um, we see him continue to seek feedback from the community um, on this resource that he's built um, and continues to improve and iterate on it for everyone. So congratulations to both of these members. Um, the next value is openness. 
So uh, Open BitLab, what an appropriate name, um, empowers the community with uh, information about MENA so people can better participate. Um, specifically, he's developed the MENA Magazine website. It's linked there if you're interested in checking it out. Um, with uh, it, it shares MENA related information in a very accessible way. Um, SMGT also embodies MENA's openness value. Um, they started the MENA Street Twitter account, linked there, and it's a community run information feed of kind of the latest and greatest news about MENA. So those who are interested um, can easily follow along. So good job to these two members. Respect. Um, you know, I want to say most of our community is very respectful, but, you know, we wanted to call out two in particular today. So, uh, Ivan Diaz Perez has been a respectful and constant presence in the Discord community. Um, they help to answer questions in an inclusive way. If you've joined recently, you probably have seen them saying hi and welcoming you. So, yeah. Um, they've just been very, very respectful and helpful in, in the community. Um, same goes for uh, JJang83. Um, they've stepped up to kind of do the very same in Mina's Korean community um, on Telegram. Uh, they help to answer questions, whether it's technical or general, and you know they just help members in an accessible and respectful manner. So good job to both Ivan Diaz Perez and JJang83. Okay, so last but not least, uh, for excellence, uh, Vince Towerstake, who you might have um, attended his session earlier, um, has demonstrated their commitment to creating elegant solutions, um, such as by building the delegator, staking rewards calculator, and the better uptime leaderboard. So these have been really invaluable resources to the community, and we really applaud him for for kind of taking the initiative to get these going and, and creating them. Uh, Moody, on the other hand, has shown also incredible initiative to drive community run growth for MENA, uh, more on the marketing side. So um, they started a, com um, a community run MENA development group, a MENA community, and a MENA marketing channels, the, these three separate channels on Telegram, and is very active in prompting people to brainstorm on different ideas that can help to grow MENA and, and actually bringing these ideas to life um, to share MENA with more of the world. So really great job to both Vince and Moody. Yeah, so with that, I want to congratulate all of the core value champions this quarter for being true pillars of our community. Um, I want to say that the core value champions for this quarter will automatically be nominated for the yearly core leader awards, but um, rest assured, we'll also be reaching out to each of you about um, a little gift of appreciation soon. So please keep an eye out on Discord. Yeah, and just I want to thank um, everyone. Thank you all for your awesome participation so far. Um, let's all continue to uphold and live the MENA core values every day. Um, together, I truly believe we can build the best open source community. Great, so uh, thank you for joining the session and attending the MENA Spotlight event. Um, be sure to follow MENA on our various social channels noted here on this slide. And we highly encourage you to stay for the next session, which will start at 6.45 p.m. UTC, so I guess, okay, in about five minutes. Um, which will be an AMA with O of One Lab CEO and MENA Foundation board member, Evan. Um, he kicked off the, the whole conference this morning. Um, but yeah, we invite you to come and ask him all the questions you have about the project, about our tech, anything. Um, yeah, we'll see you then. Thanks all.